What is going on everybody? Dan with Gear Focus here and we are back with another video and another background apparently. And today we are answering the most asked questions on our Premiere Pro Multicam tutorial. Now if you haven't seen our original Multicam video, make sure you go ahead and check that out. I'll link it up at the top of the video. But the most asked question on that video is what do I do if I have more than two cameras? Now the proper way to do this would be before you even start pressing record on your camera and that would be to use time code generators. But I understand that the majority of us just don't do that. Now the unfortunate reality is, is we're going to have to manually align everything in Premiere. So for today's example, we're going to be using a music video that I shot a couple weeks ago, and we're going to be looking at the performance angles. So hopping into Premiere, we can see that I have my audio track here, and then I have 33 different performance angles. So we might get lucky and be able to create our multicam sequence from our bin right here. So in order to do that, we highlight both of our folders, right click and create multicam source sequence. From here, we're gonna use our audio as our source. We're gonna leave everything else pretty much the same. Use audio for our sync point. Yep, leave everything pretty much the same and hit okay. Now this is probably what's gonna happen. If you had a really clear audio source, maybe it might work, but usually it does not work. So unfortunately, we have to do everything manually. Now for the sake of time, I didn't do all 33 clips, but I did do seven of them and they are all on the timeline ready to go. Now, one tip I have for manually aligning clips is you wanna find a point in your audio where you can put a marker. For instance, in this music video, I found where the bass hits at the beginning of the song when the song drops. I'm gonna go through all of my clips, make a marker at that point, and then I can just use those markers to align themselves in the multicam. Now, once everything's aligned on the timeline, it's pretty much the exact same process as our original video. You can highlight everything on your timeline and you can either use your hotkey or you can right click and hit nest. We're gonna make this our multi-cam, hit okay. Then from here, we right click on that nest, hit multi-camera and then hit enable. Okay, so that's gonna give us our multi-cam sequence. And then in order to cut that, we're just gonna go ahead and enable our multicam sequence, let it play, and we can hit our numbers on our keyboard, and it has to be the numbers above your letters. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut this sequence real quick, and then we're gonna come back and talk about color grading. So back in Premiere, we're ready to color grade our video. Now, you could obviously go through and manually color grade every individual clip here on the multicam sequence, but that's gonna take forever and that's just a waste of time, so don't do that. Your multicam sequence is already in your project bin over here on the left. All we need to do to access the original files is double click on this and it opens it up in a new timeline. Then any color grading we need to do, we can just do on these clips. So for the sake of the video, I'm just gonna go ahead and put a random LUT on here. I don't even know what this one looks like, but you can see that it changed my image. So now if I go back to my main sequence and I go to where that clip is on the timeline, which is over here, you can see that that color grade is in my multicam sequence. So really that's all there is to it. It's a pretty simple process and using multicam in Premiere is one of the best ways to cut together multiple camera sequences. Now one of the things you guys liked the most about the original video is that it was short, sweet, to the point. So I was trying to do that again on this one, but if you have any additional questions, let me know in the comments down below. And while you're down there, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. That kind of stuff really does make a difference here to us on the channel. Any interaction with the video does make a big difference. That's gonna do it for me today. I will see you guys in the next video. Until then, stay safe, stay healthy, and remember Gear Focus is always here to help you feed your passion.